So yesterday, I borrowed a neighbor's truck and drove the hour to Walmart and picked up 75 bags of their cheapest topsoil. It really is just dirt. Good for filling holes. Actually, well, that's even what they tell you on it. It's good for filling holes and leveling areas. I'm putting it in the garden. I will use some fertilizer. You can see I already used 10 bags there. And I plan on five to ten more to get this going. The beds from last year, I think I used 13 or 14 in those. These are a little bit bigger as far as wider. I think they're shorter. Uh, but they're doing pretty good. I stuck the corn over here. It's coming up. It's uh, about eight inches high. I'm leaving the grass. I can't take the grass out with the corn there. I'm not going to worry about it. This was more of an experiment. And see, I got the gate on. The chickens are being very dramatic today, as always. And I've been getting a little work here and there on the greenhouse. You can see I got all the benches finished up. And I have some of my seedlings going. I got some more tomatoes over here. Got some beans, some peas, some more tomatoes. Got some strawberries back here that I bought at Walmart yesterday. There's two plants in each cup. This was in the jalapeno pepper bin. And I get home and it says green bell. I already have green bell. Didn't need it. But this is coming along. You can see I ripped a whole bunch of strips, battens. And I put two walls up of this cheap plastic. Well, it wasn't too cheap. It was, I think, $80, $85. And I cut my battens and applied them. I wanted to leave it for a few days, let it go through some wind and see how it did like this. And it's doing just fine. So when I get it done, I'll have all the windows cut open. And I'll get the roof done. And I'll bring that right down over the top. And I left space here to put a batten down the length of this whole thing. So things are moving along. Just got to get it done, get these beds planted out. It's uh, Memorial Day weekend this coming weekend. So I'm kind of late in putting my seedlings in, but you know, I can only do things when I can do them. And now that the season has started at work, I'm working 10 to 12 hour days. And the weather's not cooperating, so I'll get done when I can, when I can. Um, the 75 bags, those were 2,250 pounds. I moved those twice yesterday onto the truck from the pallet and then off the truck into the, um, onto my property here. So that was 4,500 pounds, 30 pounds at a time. But it's getting there, slowly. Let's get some planting done. Uh, some of these tomatoes are ready to go. Yeah, they got some root systems. They're not bound up yet. They're doing pretty good. Another stick. I might go a little deeper. Like that. Get the sticks out. Yeah, she's 
looking good. Yeah, I think six of those will be fine. They'll do good. I have some more room in these beds. And I have more seeds started, but I don't want to put the beans and peas over here just because I don't want them shading anything out. I'll do it on the containers. These plants, that bed's not doing so good, but I have more seed starts that I can add to that once they get a little bigger. I do have a tomato plant starting up right there. And I think a cucumber plant right there. And this zucchini needs... All right. I have 45 bags left. I'm hoping to fill all these with two left over for in the greenhouse. But we'll see. So at the end of the day, I got quite a bit done. We got the containers moved, everything cleaned up over here, all the, all the dirt put in, fertilizer put in. There'll be a couple, two or three of them, there'll be potatoes, and I might try carrots. But lettuce is going to be on the inside with all the extra bags. I still have about 20 bags. Got these two raised beds filled and planted out. I think the strawberries are going to be fine just the way they are as they'll start spreading. Those are our Ozark Beauty strawberries. Corn's going, zucchini's going, there's a cucumber over there, there's a couple of tomato plants. Those beds aren't doing too good, they really need, I might have to throw a couple of bags over there and refertilize. But the greenhouse is coming along, I need to get back on it because this is where I'm going to use these trays. With dirt to start doing uh, lettuce and radishes and things like that in here. And as far as the containers go, I may have to, and I, I put them here for a reason. I don't think most things are going to bother the potatoes, but some of the other stuff it might. I may have to bring something off of here as a, uh, a, a chicken wire or something to block them in so they're protected from deer and chickens because chickens love getting into things as always there's always more to do and there's always another plan another thing that has to be built or done but I'm in a lot better position last year I just had those two one beds man I ate a lot of food out of there mostly I had cucumbers zucchini and tomatoes in there I ate a lot out of there this year I'm in a better starting position so someday this garden is actually next year because I want to double every year, at least for a few years. So I have four beds now. Next year I want to put four more beds in. I think I can put two over here because I won't do corn there again. I don't even know if I'm going to get ears of corn out of that. But I'll extend out that way <clears throat> another 10 feet and continue on.